I finished my Pip-Boy 3000 prop just in time for Fallout 4 when they announced a new Pip-Boy. Okay, let's uh, let's do this again. For this build, you'll need EVA foam. I'm using both the thick puzzle piece kind and the thin sheet foam. White glue, hot glue, paint, machine screws, brads, a marker, a respirator mask, goggles, sponge brushes, a rotary tool, scissors, razor pens, or a box cutter. The first part of this build is gonna be the same as in my previous tutorial. Like seriously, I went back and I watched my own tutorial just to help with the first part of this because um, my, my notes are, oh God, my notes. So if you if you have any confusion on this first bit, then you might want to check out that previous tutorial. First take some thin EVA foam and cut out these three strips. Take two of them and hot glue the ends together to make bands. Use scrap EVA foam as spacers and hot glue the smaller band inside the wider one. Use the rotary tool to sand away one edge of the narrowest foam strip. This will form a slope. Glue it on. Now you gotta attach this rounded edge, which is gonna take forever because EVA foam, when you're working with a piece this small, it's gonna wanna bend back to its original shape. So you're gonna have to glue it a section at a time and wait for the glue to completely dry before you bend it until you let go and move on to the next section. So you gotta be patient. Like throw a movie on when you're doing this. Now you've gotta make the housing for this computer tape deck thing, which I'm just gonna do out of scrap pieces of EVA foam. I kinda have a lot of it in case you have haven't picked up on that. This is the completed door that I made for the tape deck. It's not actually gonna open in my version, so I just glued it in there. Now I'm assuming that you're gonna wanna put your phone in this, so keep things like screen placement in mind as you're building it. I'm building it to be specific to my phone. All these parts are made out of thicker scrap EVA foam, which is why they're different colors. Now you wanna build up the cover plate. It'll be several layers. I put a piece of plastic in there to be the window for the Geiger counter. I'm sealing the whole thing in five layers of white glue so that it'll take a paint job because otherwise foam just doesn't take a paint job. There's a test fitting. I'm attaching this with Velcro. I also drew a Geiger counter on a piece of paper and glued it in there. It's just covered with a painter's tape right now. You'll need to build up all these crazy knob structures. Bethesda really didn't want to make this easy for me. Do a base coat of brown and then a very light top coat of green so that some of the brown shows through. This is to make it look like rust. The one they are selling has this light brown color, but the one in the game has that olive drab army green color. But you can still see bits of rust showing through. Now you can remove the painter's tape. I'm cutting some of the knobs out of foam and using bottle caps for the rest. The bottle caps are actually a little bit too small, but I didn't want to make them out of foam. These are all the knobs that I'm going to attach. That one's from a tube of travel toothpaste. Put some green plastic in there for the screen. If your phone's a touch screen, it'll still work. I used brads for some of the smaller details. I also attached this small bottle because it's on the original. I have no idea what it does. Wait, what is it? Coolant? Oxygen? Gasoline? Is, is this Pip-Boy gas powered? I don't know. Again, I'm doing a brown base coat and green top coat. I use real screws for the screws. Go figure. I attach the knobs with screws or chopsticks. Then I painted all the appropriate parts black. Next, I painted the small bottle structure white and through careful masking, painted the yellow warning lines on the clasp. I used rub and buff wax metallic finish to help with the aging process. In the last Pip-Boy tutorial, I used silver spray paint, but I honestly prefer rub and buff because it's much easier to control and apply and it's even easier to remove. I mean, both are kind of a pain to remove, but rub and buff is easier. Just dab some on a fingertip, spread it over any leading edge that might have banged up against something and scraped away the paint and the rust, and it just looks so much more amazing. This really solidifies the idea that the Pip-Boy is real and it's made out of metal underneath the paint. Although I kind of overdid it on uh, the hinge of the clasp. I may end up going over that with some black. Lastly, I attached a wire to the white fuel bottle. Let's just call it a fuel bottle. I put my phone in place and put the faceplate back on. And my phone still works through the plastic. Just like I said it would. Yeah. I don't have the Pip-Boy app because my data plan sucks, but if you've got it, go nuts. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, and you can subscribe and click send me updates to get notified when I upload a new tutorial. You can also help out the channel by visiting my Patreon page. You can see my other tutorials right here. All right, that's everything. Now I'm going to go work on all of my backlogged projects. All right, see you guys later. Check out.